Listen. Guilty or not guilty? I told you not guilty. I would like to try and put this together. That should be good. She has a right. Let her go. I want you all to look at this logically and consistently. We have guilty. I want to know. Is the kid smart or is he dumb? What do you mean? This is a boy who has been to the reform school for night fighting. The night of the murder, he bought a knife, a switchblade. It would then take a very stupid kid to go and murder a man, his father, with an instrument that everyone would associate with the kid. I quite agree. He's dumb. However, if he were dumb, then why did he make the kind of moves that an inexperienced man would make with a knife? I'm not sure I understand. To murder someone must take a great emotion, great hatred. And at that moment, he would handle the knife as best as he could. And a trained knife fighter would handle it as he had been trained, underhand. A man who had not been trained would go overhand. But the kid is being very smart. Everyone knows that he is an experienced knife fighter. So he is smart enough at that moment to make the kind of wounds that an amateur would make with a knife. That man is a smart man. Smart enough to wipe the fingerprints away. Perhaps even smart enough to wait until the L train is uh, going by in order to cover the noise. Now, is the kid smart or is he dumb? No way. Well, the woman across the L track said that she saw the murder happen through the uh, windows of the L train. So maybe someone in that L train would have seen the murder too? A possibility, but no one did that we know of. It would take an awfully dead man to take that chance, doing the uh, murder as a train of thought. Exactly. A dumb man, a very stupid man, a man swept by emotion. Probably he heard nothing. He probably didn't even hear the train coming. And whoever did murder the father did it as well as he could. The kid is dumb enough to do everything possible to associate himself with a switchblade, a switchblade murder. But then a moment after the killing, he becomes smart. The kid is smart enough to make the kind of wound that would lead us to suspect someone else. And yet, at the same instant, he is dumb enough to do the killing with an L train going by. But then a second later, he is smart enough to wipe the fingerprints away. To make this kid guilty, you have to say that from 8 o'clock until about midnight, he is stupid. Then around midnight, he is smart one second, then dumb for a few, then smart for a couple more. Then once again, he becomes stupid. So stupid that he does not think of a good alibi. Now I ask you, is the kid smart? Or is he dumb? To make this kid guilty, you have to toss his intelligence like a pancake. There is doubt! Doubt. I have no And the old man downstairs. On the stand, he swore that it was 15 seconds. He insisted on 15 seconds. But we all seem to agree that it must have been almost 30 to 40 seconds. Does the old man lie at the time and then listen to the truth of the other one? To make this boy guilty, you have to say that he is stupid that's smart, stupid that's smart, and so on. And also, for the kid to be guilty, the old man must be a liar half of the time, and the other half of the time, he must be telling the truth. You can't reasonably doubt! I'm so loving this I think I am too. I wanted more talking about 